hey guys welcome back to my channel it's always good to see you again if today is your first time of coming across my channel i am super happy to have you here and if you think the information i give is valuable why not consider subscribing and please remember to turn on the notification bell welcome to the family and to my returning subscribers thank you so much you guys are simply the best Today, I want to briefly talk to you about NFT, how you can buy, mint, and list NFT free of charge without gas fees. And to achieve that, we're going to be using the Polygon network. But before then, what is NFT? NFT stands for non fungible token. Non fungible token means assets that cannot be substituted, it has unique attributes that makes it different from another asset in the same class for example picture or a house fungible means something that can be exchanged or substituted but we still have the same value for example ethereum the dollar or bitcoin in the year 2006 the founder of twitter jack dorsey made a tweet in 2021 march he sold that tweet as an NFT. A guy called Estari bought that tweet for $2.9 million. This is the guy. And now, this same guy is trying to sell this tweet for a whopping sum of $48 million. You can see the news. NFT of Jack Dorsey's first tweet put up for sale for $48 million. This is to tell you the power of NFT. Okay, having said all that, let's go ahead and make our own NFT. Now we're going to use a 2D picture and turn it into a 3D picture. First, you need to download Blender. All you need to do, go to Google and search for Blender. When you get to this page, click on this. Choose the one that is compatible with your system and download it after that if you don't have a picture already we need to search for a picture in google so what do we need to do we search for person standing for example we choose this guy and we download it just right click save image as and here we go but then we need to work on the background so how do you do that we go to the same Google and search for background remover. This is the page for background remover. Upload the image you just downloaded. So this is it. Download. And here we go. This is our downloaded picture. So we go to this site. Now, the link to this site will be in the description. Just copy it and paste on Google. This is collab.research. Okay, so here, first thing you need to do is to connect. This is what the page looks like. So, after the connection, you need to clone. This is clone. Just click here, and if it asks you, run away go ahead and do that because you connected to a runaway host okay so the next thing we need to do is to provide the picture we just downloaded okay now this is where you click on click on this it says sample images click on this then we need to minimize this and drag our picture down here okay so this is our picture now we need to rename our file let's say uh, pl okay the next thing we need to do is to change this 
from test to PL because if we leave it on test, it's going to produce the test PNG for us. But we don't need that. We need the PNG. Okay. So click this. So we'll put PL and that is it. So the next thing we have to go to runtime. Click on runtime and click on run after. So it's going to take a while, maybe five minutes or thereabouts. Um, you just give it a little time. Okay, so we have successfully downloaded it. So refresh this and click it again. We go to results click on this and click on recon and here we go this is our results we have in obj and png so now we need to uh, download download it click on download download the second one Okay, so now we are done with this site. The next thing we need to do is to go to our Blender. And this is our Blender app. We don't need this cube, we delete it. Then go to File, Import. Then click on Download. So we need to import this. And here we go. This is the guy we just worked on. So now we're going to do a couple of things to turn this picture into a 3D picture. That is a high quality picture. And then we can mint it as our NFT. Okay, if you want to move this around, you just go this way. Do this, do this, do this. And this is how you can easily move it around. Okay, so we're going to click on Object Mode, click on Edit Mode. So here now, we need to split this into two, and then we we'll click on UV Editor, because we want to get the original picture of this same guy. Then we we'll go to Open, and then we we'll go to Desktop, we look for the guy that we just, the picture we just got. Um, okay, this is it. So here is the guy. Come to this place, UV, and project from view. Okay. we we'll bring this, and then we scale. We want to make this guy fit into this. The orange color want to fit it into this white guy so scale now for you we need to do something better i'm just trying to show, show you how this works this needs um, a little time to make it accurate. So when you're doing yours, take your time to fix it very well. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is to go back to the... we just leave this like this. And then we'll go back to the layout. So here in the layout, I'm going to get uh, go to this place. And we'll get a shader. And then we'll click on... Because we want to add some texture to this image click on add and texture image texture and here we go okay bring this this way and then we look for the image desktop and then we add this color to the base color. Okay.
ok and there we go we have been able to add a texture to this guy so we just close this we don't need this again for now and this is now our main picture this has been turned into a 3d picture okay so now we need to do we need to add camera to this so we go to add click on camera and we need to scale it we can move it easily around okay so let's render and see what we got okay this is what we got so far like i said before you take your time and work on your own nft picture but we are just doing this as a tutorial export this Can save it as PL PNG. Okay. Okay, so this is the picture we are going to be uploading in our OpenSea account. Go to Google and search for OpenSea. OpenSea.io this is the number one nft marketplace and remember i said we are using the polygon network to avoid gas fees so so now if you don't have metamask wallet you need to create one i have a video on that already go and watch that video and create your metamask metamask wallet the link will be in the description so once you're in this page and you have connected your wallet if you see here my wallet is connected this is my wallet address okay so what you need to do is you come to this one and click on my collections don't just go to create more so you click on create a collection it's loading so i need to sign in my wallet i just did okay so now it says logo image you click here it takes us to this place let's search for pl so this is the image these ones are not really necessary but you can work on it if you want you can use the same image for it let me just add the same image banner image not necessary so now you need to give your nft a name Okay, let's use Prince Talker. So here you need to put your website link. You can use the same name, the name of your NFT, or you can put another name. I just use the same name. Then if you have your links, like your social media links, you can also add it up. So now the next thing is creator edit. Now what this means is that you have royalty and you cannot earn more than 10 percent royalty so here you're going to add 10 okay then you're going to put in your wallet address the wallet you want to use to receive the funds when the sales happens so go to your metamax wallet and copy your wallet address your polygon wallet address 
I told you we're using Polygon. So copy this address and paste it here. Okay. And the blockchain we're using is Polygon. Okay. So now we are good to go. Let's create. Created. Perfect. Okay. Right now, this item is not listed. Like, it's not on sale. Nobody is seeing this item. Click on Add. And get the 3D picture. PL. Okay. The name of the item, remember, is Prince Talker. And your link is Prince Talker.io. And here you're also going to give a description. Whatever description you want is up to you. And then the collection. You can add properties. Now the number of items you want to meet. So let's go for 100. And we're using the Polygon network or blockchain. Click on create. Make sure you're not a robot. Okay. Now you created Prince Talker. Congratulations. So this is your NFT. Now the next thing is to sell. We we'll click on sell and the quantity you want to sell, you have 100 available. For a start, you want to sell 15. So how much do you want to sell one of these NFTs? It depends on you. Let's say 0 0.05, that is $153. Now the duration you want this to be on sale. Here is one month the service fees, the creator fee. Okay, the service fee is 2.5, so you're paying OpenSea 2.5%, and you, the creator, your fee is 10%. So let's go ahead and complete listing. Sign in. Okay. Your NFT is listed. Congratulations. Wow. So this is how you mint and list your NFT. So look at the market. Right now, people can see this NFT. And if they're interested, they can go ahead to buy. You have listed your NFT successfully. Now, the next thing is how to buy an NFT. So here, we need to go to all NFTs. Go to chain, and you'll see Polygon. Okay, now we are in the Polygon network. Now, we can decide to buy this, and it's just selling for $30. Okay, when you click on buy, okay, so this is what it's going to show you. Then, you tick this, and you check out. So right now, we are not actually buying because we don't have funds in this account. But I'm just showing you how you can do it. Then you click on Deposit and transfer funds from an exchange or another wallet to your wallet address below. So guys, this is how you buy, mint, and list your NFT. Hope this video is helpful.
please remember to subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video comment and share i'll see you in my next one thank you we are gonna make it